The spirit that made the seed, the sky, and the ground that we walk on says that it gives to those who give back to the earth. That is something you will never understand. You see, we eat the fruit that the earth gives us. And in return, we return what we do not eat, which then fertilizes the crops. That there, my friend, is the cycle of nature. <laughs> you are hungry too? Well. You do not eat fruit, so you just have to wait for Crusoe to come back. He promised to find us some eggs. What took you so long? We had a visitor on the North Cove. What kind of visitor? A carob like you. Except with makeup and frippery. He had piercings everywhere. Here, here. He made no attempt to harm me, but he cut off a lock of my hair and just ran. That cannot be good. <laughs> no. I did manage to get this, though. Crusoe, the person that you describe, he's not from my tribe. He is Kasik. Royalty. What's he doing here then? That is what I do not understand. They are all meant to be dead. <laughs> this was no ghost. The Kasik, they are of a superior tribe. Cultured, inventive. They ruled by the law and detested human flesh. And they were very skilled craftsmen. Sounds like my type of people. And also very fierce warriors. Okay, your type of people. They used to protect our villages, so we never had to worry about raids from the flesh eaters. What changed? One day the king disappeared, 
the tribe disbanded. Actually, nobody really knows what happened to them. They just became a legend. Hmm. Well, they're not a legend anymore. They're on our island, or at least one of them is. And we, we should find them. And they say he went on to the afterlife. Nobody knows for sure. Certainly an interesting tale. Perhaps if we find him, we can ask him for directions off this sand dune. If I can speak his language. You speak everyone's language. And I'm misunderstood in most of this. <laughs> These are a serious people, Crusoe. Well, if they're civilized, they can be reasoned with. Leave the reasoning to me. It seems as though you have never been in the presence of true royalty before. Where I come from, if you get that near royalty, it's probably because you've lost your head. Quiet. I don't hear anything. Ah, you're not. These are not your people, Crusoe. They do not blunder through the forest announcing their arrival. Looks like they left us a souvenir. This was a mistake. What are you talking about? This is bad. We should leave this place. Because of that? What is it? It is a sign. What kind of a sign? The mark of the hunt. So they're hunting? It is what they are hunting, Crusoe. He took your hair for a reason. So they're hunting me? We should leave this place and go back the way we came. Move downwind and mask our scent. I don't understand. I don't see the point. Why bother hunting me? I took my hair. I could have just as easily slipped my throat. Would you stop? Come here. Then, Crusoe, they did it for the spot of it. Don't tell me. They're legendary hunters. He's trained in a field of combat. Why me? Do you remember that wild pig? The one that had the white stripe on the side? You gave it a name and you were chasing around for weeks. Jeffries. Yes. It was a pig and a half. I've never seen another one like it. Exactly. I'm the pig. Just remember who said it out loud. <laughs> to them, you are some sort of a prize. I cannot see it myself, Crusoe, but there you go. Now would be a very good time to see Santo Santana come over the horizon with a rescue ship. Do not rely on that. I thought you trusted him now. I do not doubt his intentions, Crusoe. But we do not always achieve what we intend. Mr. Santana? Santo Santana. Senora Crusoe. Please. The day I do not rise for the woman beloved of Robinson Crusoe is the day the breath leaves my body. You have a story for me, Mr. Santana? I do. I cannot pay you much. You will not pay me at all. The debt is on my side. I don't understand. I'm not the first man that owes his life to your husband. I made him a promise to return with the ship. But thanks to this affliction, I've yet to keep it. Where is he? On an island. It is a tale of pirates, treasures, and mutineers and cannibals and heroes. I'm sure it is. And I pray that you open your heart to believe it. For I know no one else who will. Please. He seemed sincere, but his story was just like all the others. <laughs> all serpents and mermaids. Not quite so fantastical. Yet have Robin Marooned on an island with, with guns and, and a dog and, and a house in the trees and, and all sorts of devices for his comfort. 
The word has got around. You're a woman who'll pay for a tale. He said Robin had been a planter in Brazil. Can you imagine that? Well, I would have had a letter by now. I'm, I'm sure of it. I believe your soup is getting cold. Perhaps we can negotiate. With what? These people are after my head. What do I offer them, an arm? Maybe we can ask them just to torture you a little bit. Oh, he's fast. It's not as fast as a musket ball. My second thought is all yours. Ah. And me. Leg it! I'm not the pig! He wants you! Hey! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm alright. I do not understand this. The Kasik never used to hunt men. This goes against everything they believed in. Well, whatever it is they believe in. I think we can safely assume that I'm their prey. that? Do you want me to guess? Only if you can guess me some good news. Another warrior is coming. That's not good news. What does it take to make them stop? Oh, you cannot stop the Kasik. shouldn't sound so impressed. <laughs> Go? Preferably another island. But that is not an option. All right. Why are we splitting up again? The element of surprise. 
Perfect. I'll see you at the treehouse. So, I was stood down like this before I could keep my word. They had me halfway home before I could learn to speak. Now, it's not your fault if no one believes you. You believe me, don't you? Of course I do. Could you raise me a rescue ship? Oh, not quite so simple. Before you spend money on a ship, you have to know where the ship is to go. Oh, my God. 
Province in Crusoe. The ingenious white hermit of the island. Are you impressed that I know your name? I'm impressed you're speaking English so well. <clears throat> slave English, nothing to be proud of. You don't look like anyone's slave. You don't look like anybody's master. It is our custom to allow the winning hunter to finish the kill. But in your case, because we are a unique prize, I'm going to kill you myself. I thought we were getting along so well. I had somebody like you enslaved me against my will, slaughtered my family in front of my eyes, taught me his customs and had me praise his God. And finally, to break my spirit, he forced me to speak his language. I was never a man like that. Well, you adventurers are the same. I'm a merchant, or I was. You run a plantation, worked by slaves, and yet to keep a slave in the island. Is that what this is about? Friday is no man's slave. <clears throat> and yet you gave him a slave name. It's because I couldn't pronounce his real name. I had to call him something. <laughs> He's a free man. Listen. Listen to me. He would die for me. And if it came down to it, I'd do the same for him. Closer. Do you have a woman? Yes, I do. Do you have children? To carry your name forward? Yes. <laughs> and yet you will die for this man? Deserting your children forever? Do you value this man more than them? That's not a fair question. It is a question! Or maybe, even if you die, they will not feel the loss. They have forgotten all about you. <laughs> I hear you're equipping a ship. It is for a business venture. I don't believe you. You know something. It's the Spaniard, isn't it? Suppose I had news, but the news was not good. Then why would you waste your money? If you're going to find Robin, then I'm coming with you. I see. Well, what if I take you on this voyage and the ship is lost and your children are orphaned? Sir, this isn't fair. Sign them over to me, and if I fail to return, then all of this will be theirs. Exactly how is that unfair? And I get to come on the voyage. Hmm. And afterwards, I will tear up the piece of paper. What have you got to lose? What do I have to sign? Get ready for the journey. And I will draw up an agreement. This is just a piece of paper. It means that nothing will worry you while I'm away. <laughs> Good. Well done. Now, these two gentlemen will be taking care of you. My trunk isn't packed yet. What are you doing? You are a disgrace to your family and to your tribe. What did I do? You served this man. What is he talking about, Crusoe? I serve no man. He thinks you do. I do not. We are equals. Who told you that? He did. And you accept everything he says? This is some sort of trap, is it not? Give him a weapon. I'm giving you a chance to regain your dignity. Kill the man who would be your master.
<laughs> that makes it interesting. Master of Slave. Will one end the respect of the Kasik tribe? If one of you is alive after the Battle of Honor, he goes free. I'm not sure I follow. I do. He wants us to fight. To the death. Prepare the battleground. When the sands run out, the fight begins. Maybe one of us will be lucky. I have seen the very same look in Dandy's eyes before he kills a rabbit. This fight to the death business, just what does it entail? Two men fight. They go at it until one of them gets killed. I do not know how else to explain it to you, Crystal. It's brutal. It's not hard to grasp. How long do you think we can spin it out for? Well, clearly, dying of old age is not one of the options. And what if we refuse to fight? They will kill us both. Maybe slowly for spoiling their fun. We need to think of a plan. A plan like your last one? Uh, something much better than that. Since my last plan put us here. <laughs> Do you realize that the king has given up a great privilege? How? Killing you would have enhanced his reputation. Honors everything to them. And there's no greater honor than to die in a contest of equals. Where I come from, we call that losing. The second is ready, and the sands have run out. Let blood be spilled and justice done, Robinson Crusoe. I'm not fighting anyone. That is because you only fight women. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> Mad women, like Judy. She was exceptional. She threw you into a puddle. Stop it. Make me. Please stop it. Stop. I think we need to do it a little more, you know. Realistically, they think we're faking it! Exactly what you're thinking. Now that he served his purpose, he's going to slow us down. No! No! Are you still ready to die like a man, Your Majesty? No! 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 no. You cannot lose the Kasigi. They can take a raindrop in a river. <laughs> After three crucial.
uh, lady with the blades, she was quite something. You know, I could be mistaken, but it looks as though she'd taken quite a shine to you. Well, I guess that is what they call the Friday effect. Yes. It's a shame she would have sliced off both of our heads if she was told to. Women are mysterious. You never quite know what you're going to get. I know exactly the kind of woman you're thinking of. Never here. If you tell my father, I swear I'll come back in the night and rip your heart out. Yes? I have some business with Susanna Crusoe. Do you now? Try the madhouse. You know what the logical answer would have been? Not to get caught in the first place. Think it through. Two men. Neither one wants to kill the other, but only one can live. It's not possible. It is if one of them kills himself. One of them has to die. But neither of them can bring himself to kill his friend, even if it means saving his own life. You see what I'm saying? Are you mad? Yeah. What's the answer, then? Exactly what we did. Cheat and fight. It does not matter what the situation is. There's always going to be room for an element of surprise. Did you hear that? What?
Long live the king. Wait. You all right? It would never have worked between us. No? No, 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 no. She settles every argument with the machete. And she runs faster than you. <laughs> that is true. 